Dear students, Namaste and welcome to today's English class of grade 4. We are in unit 10, past events and dealing with listening and speaking. We are going to do this listening activities, listening comprehension activities and spe speaking activities today. Please be ready, okay? So, all of you get ready with your book, pens, copies and everything. Okay, are you ready? Good. Okay, let's get started with listening. Listening. What's there? Pre-listening activities. Okay, let's start with pre-listening activities. Number A. Look at these pictures and answer the following questions. Okay, look at these pictures. Observe carefully. Two pictures are there. Picture number one and picture number two is quite, okay, it's dark. But it's, it's clear, right? It's clear what's going on over there. So, what do you see in the pictures? What do you see? Hmm. In the picture number one, a person is there, right? A person is there and the person is sleeping. Okay, the person is sleeping. And picture number one. What are they doing? Yes, we are talking about the same thing. What are they doing? And in the second picture, is it the same person? We don't know. Whether two, both people are same or different, we don't know, right? Do you have any idea? Could be different, right? Could be different. Okay, the, the person may be uh, different, two persons. And another person is climbing through window. Do you climb? Do you go through window? Usually not, right? We don't do. But this person is climbing through the window wearing dark black clothes with cap, hood, right? Hoodie. So, have, can you guess uh, who, is, who is he? Okay, yes, yes. Good, okay. In my view also, the person must be a thief, right? Maybe or thief or maybe um, some a person to uh, or some person to investigate something. What do you think? We'll find out it soon. Who is this person? Who are these people? The person sleeping and the person climbing through the window. Let's find out. This is the listening task. So, we will come to know soon after listening who are these people and what they are doing. So, are you ready for listening? Very good. Okay, let's get started. Your first listening. Okay, here it goes, your first listening. There was a girl. Her name was Emma. She was at home. She was sleeping in the bedroom. It was a cold and dark night. It was raining. A thief came into Emma's house at midnight. He wanted to steal Emma's toothbrush. The thief went into the kitchen first. He felt hungry. He decided to eat something. Then he started to prepare a breakfast for himself. He made some noise, so Emma woke up. She heard the noise. She was scared. She took her phone and called the police. Then she walked towards the kitchen slowly And she saw the thief. He was having breakfast. Hmm. Okay. So, did you listen? Have you found what are what is what is the thing, whole thing, what event, and have you found who who are these people? 
I think yes. With first listening, you have found at least what they are doing and who are they. Mm. Is your guess right? Yes. Okay. So your guess is right. Our guess is right. Okay. Uh, so this is a lady. A lady sleeping. Her name is Emma. Right. Emma is sleeping. And there is a thief. This person is a thief who came climbed up through the window. Okay. So we have guessed it. Uh, we have done with our pre-listening activity. Uh, now let's move to our main activity of listening. We have already listened one time. Now what is the activity over there? Let's see. Okay, in number B, we have the task. Listen to the audio and answer these questions. We are listening to audio again. And we are, we have to do, we have to answer these questions. First of all, get the questions. What you have to find out over here. Get, uh, let's um, discuss this question. So, how it would be easy for you to um, uh, find out answers. Okay. Number A. What was Emma doing at home? Emma. Okay. The lady's name was Emma. What was uh, she doing at home. Number B, when did the thief came to Emma's house? When? Which time? Maybe related to time, right? Which time was it? First, at first you have to find uh, right activities that she was doing and then time, you have to look at the time. And then number C, where did the thief go first? Where? After entering into the house, where did he go first? And number D, what made Emma wake up? Did she wake up? If yes, what made so? Number E, how did Emma go to the kitchen? How did she go? So uh, we have to find out answers of these five questions. Please pay attention listen to the audio again and find out answers of these five questions are you ready okay yes oh yes we are ready now it goes our second listening there was a girl her name was emma she was at home she was sleeping in the bedroom it was a cold and dark night it was raining. A thief came into Emma's house at midnight. He wanted to steal Emma's toothbrush. The thief went into the kitchen first. He felt hungry. He decided to eat something. Then he started to prepare a breakfast for himself. He made some noise, so Emma woke up. She heard the noise. She was scared. She took her phone and called the police. Then she walked towards the kitchen slowly. And she saw the thief. He was having breakfast. Okay, we have done with second listening and I hope you have found all the answers, right? Number A, now let's discuss answers. Please check it whether you have um, found the correct answer or not. Check whether your answers are right or wrong. Number A, what, is, what was she doing? Obviously, we have already discussed in picture uh, pictures as well. She was sleeping. So I'll just give you the word clue, main clue. Please write it in the full sentence. You could, uh, you can write it in full sentence later on. Number B. When did the thief came to Emma's house? Slee was sleeping, so we can easily guess. It is at midnight, and we listened as well, right? In listening. 
Number C. Where did the thief go first? Where did he go first? He went to kitchen. He went to the kitchen. Okay. <clears throat> now number D. What made Emma wake up? So it was okay. Noise. The main reason was noise. When he made some noise, the thief made noise. And number E, slowly, how did she go? Slowly, the answer of how, slowly she went and checked who, what was there, right? Okay, with this we have done number B activities as well. I have brought some more exercise for you. Please look at here. Listen to the audio and fill in the blanks, okay. Some more exercises. Let's discuss these questions. Number A, the girl's name was, what was the girl's name? Mm -hmm. Quite easy, right? Number B, it was cold and what type of night it was? Number C, the thief wanted to steal a mouse. What it wanted to see, steal? Number D, he felt when he entered the kitchen. Number E, the thief prepared for himself in the kitchen. What did he prepare? So, for to complete this task, I'm going to play the audio for one more time and find out the answers. Okay? So, this is third and last listening. There was a girl. Her name was Emma. She was at home. She was sleeping in the bedroom. It was a cold and dark night. It was raining. A thief came into Emma's house at midnight. He wanted to steal Emma's toothbrush. The thief went into the kitchen first. He felt hungry. He decided to eat something. Then he started to prepare a breakfast for himself. He made some noise, so Emma woke up. She heard the noise. She was scared. She took her phone and called the police. Then she walked towards the kitchen slowly. And she saw the thief. He was having breakfast. Okay, third listening is over. Okay, now it's time for discussing the answer number A. The girl's name was Emma. Number B. It was cold and dark night. Then number C. The thief wanted to steal Emma's toothbrush. Number D. He felt hungry when he entered the kitchen. Number E, the thief prepared a breakfast for himself in the kitchen. Okay, so we have done with our listening activities. Now let's move to, okay, we have D, uh, exercise D, actually it's C uh, in your book. I have one additional exercise, that's why it's D now. Have you heard a story like this from your, either from your family, friends or for, from a movie, share with, you, uh, with your friends. So, uh, the story that we heard in, um, that we listened in listening activity. So, do you have such kind of similar stories in your life? Have you heard such, such? Okay, otherwise I am going to tell you one. Uh, I have the clues for that. Mm, okay, the clues are like a weird thief, strange, weird means strange, used to steal the most valuable things in the city, hoard the most precious diamond in the city, and then tried stealing, rang alarm, caught by police, couldn't know it was a trap for him. Okay, so these are the clues, and I'll, I would like to share this event with you. 
yes this one is uh, the event that i um, the event this is the story i watched in the television uh, yes there was a weird strange thief and then the thief was um, the thief was so strange that it, it was not common like uh, to steal the common uh, valuable things uh, but it was the one to steal most valuable things in the city whatever uh, sp special things uh, most valuable things uh, people had the thief came to know and it used to steal that it means collect the thief used to collect that and then uh, one day he heard about the most precious diamond in the city and it wanted to steal that too to uh, extend his collection he wanted to steal that diamond as well that diamond as well so he tried it tried stealing and it was you know protected the diamond was protected with different kind of um, um, technology different uh, uh, technology was there so thief went uh, in the midnight the thief went to steal uh, that diamond and as soon as the thief reached to the diamond and tried to take it the alarm rang and what happened as a result police caught him he could not know it was a trap for him okay it was that was not the um, a matter of diamond it was the prank it was the plan plan not the prank plan of police to catch the thief so he was caught at that time okay so this is what uh, i shared with you you might have heard was so many uh, stories events like this please share with your friends in groups or pairs you could you can share such kind of stories all right now let's see what is there next okay we are moving to speaking section so what is there hmm okay so number a activity of speaking section you can see a picture and the instruction work in pairs and take turns to ask and answer the questions okay so this is peer activity all of you please choose your partner okay uh, stay in pairs and you can do this practice this speaking activity okay so we can see a boy and a girl standing there and they are talking right they are talking okay so it starts with the question what did you do yesterday what did you do yesterday can you tell me okay so many things again right so when we ask what did you do yesterday i woke up washed my face brushed my teeth went to school uh, did uh, studied uh, many subjects in the school so many tasks let's see what the girl answers mm, i read a story i read a story found it very interesting so please notice the question itself is in the past what did you do yesterday and the girl also replied in the past i read a story i found find found read read ah okay you can see the spe same spelling r e a d read okay present form is read and past form read though the spelling is same we pronounce it as read oh that means sometime past form of the verb is the same but pronunciation is different see and find found found it very interesting next question where did you go on your uh, last holiday the boy again asked where did you go on your last holiday where did you go Hmm. Okay. Is it the same? I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go anywhere. I stayed at home. Next question. 
did you watch TV last night? Did you watch TV last night? What did you watch? What did you watch? Is the question. The girls answering, yes, I did. I watched a cartoon so it was Motu Patlu. Did you watch TV last night? Yes, of course you watched. Maybe the programs are different. Programs might be different. What you watched? Next, first question. When did you go shopping? What did you buy? What did you buy? When did you go shopping last time? Yesterday? Okay, what did you buy then? Okay, lots of stuffs for home. Mm, okay, what the girl answers. I went shopping last month, see? Last month, a long time ago. I bought a bag and a pair of suits. The final question asked by the boy, when was the last, uh, when was the last you got angry? Do you remember when you got la uh, angry last time and why with region? And here is the answer, I got angry a week ago because my brother broke my ruler. Okay. So this was the region the girl got angry. Similarly, please make some more questions about the past events to ask past events to your pair, to your friend and you can ask these questions. Otherwise, we have a game right now. Okay, can you guess what game are we going to play? We are going to play a game. Okay, in number B. Work in pairs, take turns, roll a dice and answer the questions. Okay, do you have a dice? Good, you need a dice to play this game. Okay, I'm going to pass this uh, game on the board. You also have this game in your book, right? Here it goes, the game. Let me explain how do we play this game. Uh, this is just like a Ludo, okay? We play this game just like a Ludo game. We have a start over here and then questions. In each box we can see questions, different questions in past tense. So what do we do? We roll dice, okay? We roll dice with one display of one in the dice, we start the game. So you can play this game in pairs like uh, let's see let's let's take two colors just like in Ludo let's take two colors so two people will be playing and then we roll dice suppose it displays uh, two okay the number two question is asked to the person or you can play either like that or same question can be asked to the another person Either the one who rolled the dice will be asked or you can ask to the uh, pair of that person. Like orange and green we have. Orange rolled the dice and got number two. Either orange will ask green or green will ask orange. Okay, so let's roll the dice. Are you ready? What's there? goes it goes run 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 and stop okay one suppose orange orange roll the dice and orange twist in the one okay let's do only one so the orange can roll it again okay what is there run 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 what is there display of number three okay so it goes one two three Okay, three. And in number three, we have a question. Who taught you your, who taught you your first letter? This question, either this orange can ask to the partner or he or she will be asked. Okay, the, uh, part, uh, this person will be asked this question. Who taught your first letter? Or the answer would be, my mother taught me last later then turn uh, my 
The answer could be my mother taught me my first letter. Then the tone can be changed. Okay, the tone can be changed. Uh, for example, just we will uh, go only one uh, only. Okay, we will not do in pair. We'll just roll the dice and go to the question. Let's roll it for the second time. What will be the next number? Two. Okay. So we have one, two. So read out over here. What is written? What information is here? Go three spaces ahead. That means no question. So the person can climb up three more steps. One, two, three. So the one who climbs up early and reach to the finish will be the winner. Okay. So what's question is over there? What did you have for your, what did you have for breakfast today? I had bread and butter for breakfast today. Can be the answer. Now let's roll again, okay. Let's roll, run, 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 run. Where are we reaching? Okay, five, number five. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. We are here. The uh, question is, what was the weather like yesterday? How was it? Rainy, sunny, cloudy. Okay, so we can answer. The weather was rainy. The weather was sunny yesterday. Let's roll once again. What is there? Let's see. Run, 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 run. Where does it stop? Number four. Okay, number four. One, two, three, four. How was, how was your weekend? Hmm. My weekend was very exciting. I had a fun, great fun. One more time. Let's roll. Okay, run, 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 run. What is the number? It is the six. Okay. So I can climb so many steps. I can skip many steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. When, when did you read a story? I read a story last month. So like rolling again, it will up to, you will, you will keep on rolling until you reach in the finish point. So two people can compete, compete who a finish uh, go to the finish point first. So in this way, you can enjoy this game in your pairs. All right. Okay. Now let's see what is there next. Exercise. Okay. Okay. So with this, we have done our session. Now the exercise uh, is based on again past form of the verbs so we are not to forget that uh, we are the we are in the unit past events and we are learning past form of the verbs write the past form of the following verbs okay we have we have verbs like talk walk love touch push play make some more okay we will do of these and then you can continue the remaining pops as we have discussed we can uh, change these uh, form of the verbs okay these all are in the present form and we can change these verbs into past Simply, what are the rules? Yes, by simply adding ed or d at the end of the verb, or sometime the whole form is changed. Suppose, what is the past form of talk? Talk, talk, what should we add? Ed, talked, okay talk change into talk similarly walk okay 
What do we add over here again? Walked. Walked. So we have added ed, ed in the in these both words. Third one. Love. What's the past form of love? Loved. So we have to just add d over here. Only d is additional. Touch. Touched. Ed again. Push. Pushed. Play. Plate. Ed. Ed. Make. Can we do? Can we write? Make. Is it right? As we added. E. E. Ending. D. Love. Loved. Can we add just D over here? Obviously not, right? Because the form is another. We uh, it it is not the regular one. The whole form is changing. Make past form of make is made. The whole form is changed. Made make made. So this is these are all the present form. And the past form. We can change these verbs into past tense in this way. And some more verbs are left like close, feel, as, sit, and call. Similarly, these are homeworks for you. Please change the uh, form of these verbs, change it into past form. Okay, I hope you have learned today's lesson. We have, we have done several activities and you have learned all the exercises and you know how to change these verbs into past. That's all for today. Thank you and Namaste.